Now, severe weather, summer threats. Summer months can produce some of the most dangerous weather of the year. And while we're not tracking a major storm heading our way right now, we are looking at ways you can prepare in case we do get hit this year. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca is here now with the severe weather killer, lightning. Well, Shannon, of all the different types of severe weather we get during the summer season, lightning falls into that category of both beautiful and dangerous. The light show is spectacular, especially at night. However, caution is certainly deserved with these storms approaching. Every second of the day, 365 days a year, a flash of lightning rips through the sky. That's three million flashes per day. While not all thunderstorms are severe in terms of wind and hail, all thunderstorms create lightning, which is to say all need to be respected. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, lightning has killed more than 9,200 people in the U.S. since the agency began keeping records. That's more than tornadoes and hurricanes. The power of a single bolt is awesome, 100 million volts. With a temperature of 54,000 degrees, it's five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Lightning gets its start from inside massive towering clouds called cumulonimbus. It's within this towering cloud of water and ice the spark begins. Begins. As the cumulonimbus cloud becomes taller and more mature, we start to see more negative charges building near the bottom of the cloud. And near the ground, we see an accumulation of positive charges. When opposite charges are next to each other, the net result is the powerful bolt of lightning. Here at our weather studios, we're able to track lightning strikes in real time, giving you advance warning when dangerous lightning is approaching. Summertime thunderstorms in southern New England, very common, and the lightning they produce needs to be respected. We're here at the Boston Museum of Science where we'll get an up-close look as to how it all works. It is here where the power of electricity comes to life right in front of us. While we certainly can't create severe weather, here at the Boston Museum of Science and the Theater of Electricity, we can come pretty close to creating one of nature's most powerful forces, lightning. This large structure is called a Van de Graaff. It will create the same physics that occurs in the cumulonimbus cloud. The Van de Graaff is just like a thunderstorm in that it's a mechanical charge pump. We use belts rather than wind to pull the opposite charges apart and they collect on the large metal spheres rather than the topmost portion of the cloud and the bottommost portion of the clouds respectively. When thunder roars, head indoors. But what about being outside? Cars are somewhat safe, though they can be struck by lightning. The metal uh, frame of the car and also that lightning changes quickly that keep the charge on the outside skin of the metal. Bottom line, like the metal shell of a car, this metal cage keeps the lightning away. Other common outdoor safety tips include staying away from open fields, large bodies of water, and large metal structures. At the first audible sign of thunder, it's time to go in. It's best to wait 30 minutes after the last sound of thunder. I tell uh, the elementary uh, students when I speak at the schools about a very simple way of tracking, uh, you know, if a storm is coming closer or moving away, you wait for the flash of lightning, you start to count, and you do that process each time. And uh, the less you can count in between when you see the lightning and when you hear the thunder, the storm is coming closer, and the more you can count, the storm is moving away. But